If you're looking to add another level of dimension to your Canva project with textures, then you're in the right place because in this episode, I'll show you just how easy it is to take your project from amateur to pro. So strap on in because we're starting right now. So with your Canva project open, what we're gonna wanna do is add a texture on top of this. Now, Canva has a lot of textures you can choose from. If you come over here to Elements, you can kind of find something that will fit the bill. They have some paid versions and they had free versions. But in this instance, there was nothing that I really liked that really achieved the, the look and feel I was going for. So I found some third party websites, which I have um, added in the description of this video. You can kind of check those out. But there are hundreds, if not thousands of websites that will provide you the same you know, textures, the same PNG textures. And when I say PNG textures, I mean transparent textures. So like in Photoshop, we have blending modes. You can, you know, you can achieve a really cool um, look and feel with uh, the, the, the blending mode inside of Photoshop. But unfortunately, Canva doesn't have that option. So what we're gonna do is kind of fake it. So I have chosen a texture that I want to use to kind of make this, this grasshopper poster feel a little bit more grungy, a little bit more organic. So I'm gonna come over here to upload. And then from here, click on upload device. And then I have it saved to my desktop. It's called texture PNG. I'm gonna upload that. And Canva is going to just upload that and save it into the cloud. So while we're waiting, I'm just gonna click on here and it's going to add that to my, my project. So I have it here. I wanna make it more uh, vertical. Oops, let's undo that. Let's rotate this first. There we go. And then we're just going to grab this point here and then just extend it out. Extend it out here at the bottom as well. And then just kind of adjust and adjust. And I wanna move it this back behind the this little arrow thing here. So I'm gonna hit Command bracket, left bracket, and then just kind of shift it to the back. Perfect. So what I want to do now is I think it's a little bit too grungy and a little bit too washed out. We're going to, I guess, subdue it a little bit. So come over here to your transparency and then you're just going to kind of finagle with it. This is obviously nothing. And then you can kind of just build up till you achieve that, that weathered look you're looking for. Obviously a hundred is too much, but if that's the look you're going for, then Hey, by all means go for it. And I'm just going to kind of just remove that, that washed outness, and I'm going to drop it down a little bit to, let's say, let's say 65%. And with that, I am happy. Now, some of the PNGs you'll find will come in either black or white. It just kind of depends on, you know, the look you're going for. If you want something a little bit more dirty, then you would go with a more, you know, with you would go with a, a black PNG to add that grunginess to it. You can still achieve it with the white, but the white just kind of achieves a more washed out effect. Um, you can kind of bring out, I guess, a more dirty feel if you go to adjustments. And then from adjustments, just kind of mess with the, the contrast, right? And then just kind of finagle it till you get a, a you know, a darker color. It doesn't work for all of the um, all of the PNGs that you're going to be downloading that are free, but just kind of search for something that works for you uh, and works for your project so you kind of get the, the look and feel you want. Like I said before, adding textured overlays to your project can really take it to the next level. And with that, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this tutorial helps you on your next project. And if you have any additional questions or need any additional assistance, please feel free to comment down below. And while you're at it, like and subscribe as that helps me to um, create more content like this. So thank you again for joining me and I hope to see you in the next episode of Under Budget Marketing Design.